Hello, and welcome to a tutorial on using the Zoom video conferencing software. There are two basic ways to use Zoom. You can use the Zoom website at cca.zoom.us, note that special CCA URL, or you can use the Zoom desktop app, which is easy to find if you search for download Zoom app, and it's just a regular Mac or PC desktop application. I'm in the app here, so I'm gonna go ahead and click sign in. When I'm given sign-in options, I want to use sign-in with SSO so I can sign in with my CCA account. I select that. Again, it's going to prompt me for the URL, so remember that CCA here. I continue, and I can see that this is the CCA login. Clearly, I've done the right thing. I'm going to go ahead and log in real quick, and it will allow me to open the Zoom US app. Now when I do that, you can see that it recognizes who I am, it's opened up the app and shows me my upcoming schedule. In this home interface, there are several buttons on the left that'll help you do handy things like start a meeting immediately, join an existing meeting, schedule a new meeting, but I also see my upcoming meetings for the day with a start button to start the ones that I'm in charge of. I'm gonna go ahead and schedule a meeting for tomorrow. I'll click schedule, set the date for tomorrow, Many of these default settings are just fine and don't need to be changed. You do want to add a password to add security to your meeting. And I typically like to turn on the host video, though it's possible to turn on your video inside of the call, whether or not you do that here. At the bottom, you're given an option of calendar application. So you can use a iCal application, but I like to use Google Calendar for events. I'm going to go ahead and click schedule. It will open Google Calendar. The first time you do this, it will have to ask for permission for Zoom to create events on your Google Calendar, but I've already done that. But you can see that this calendar event gives me all the information needed to join the Zoom call that I'm making, including the URL with an encoded password added to it. I can type in my students' emails here, and then they would receive this calendar URL, and they would all know how to join the Zoom meeting that I've created. Back in the Zoom application, my meeting isn't showing up on the dashboard here. That's because it's for tomorrow and I'm only seeing the current meetings of the day. You can go to the Meetings tab to see all of your meetings, past, present, and future. I can see today's meeting, but here's the one that we created. You don't have to wait for the designated time of a meeting so that even though this is on Friday, we can still start it now. We can also copy the invitation to it here so that we could just email that to our students if that's how we wanted to share it with them. I'm gonna go ahead and start this meeting so that you can see a little bit of the Zoom interface. Inside, my video isn't on, so I'll go ahead and turn that on, hello. And my audio wasn't on either, so I can turn that on so that my students would be able to hear me. Uh, there's a variety of controls on the Zoom window, and I would recommend looking at the documentation on the main Zoom website to learn about all of those. But I'll just show you the one that I think is the most important, which is this green share screen button. That's how you're gonna share content on your computer with your students. When you select share screen, it's gonna show you all of your open applications. So you can see I have Google Chrome here open, but also I'm looking at an image in preview. If you just want to show one thing, you can just select that one application. But if you want to show multiple applications and switch between them, you should select desktop, which will always be the very first choice. For me, I'll just select this image that I can share with my students. Now they would be able to see it and we could continue a discussion. And then I can go ahead and stop sharing with this red button down at the bottom. And that's a whirlwind tour of Zoom and how to share content with your students.